Let's all think for a moment. Think about the last time you experienced stress. Whether it was before a school or university test, or a presentation distributed over the internet for millions to see. I can tell you, my hands are a little sweaty, my heart's beating a little faster, and I've got some butterflies in my stomach. As we all know, these are signs of stress, something we all experience at some point in our lives. Going back to the last time you experienced stress, would you have taken medication to reduce your level of stress if you'd thought it would help? In a minute, a um, Menti code will appear on your screen. I'd like you to go to menti.com and use code 77 5725 and could you answer the question would you take a would you take medication to reduce your level of stress i'll give you about a minute to answer this question so could you go to menti.com and use code 7798 Five seven two five, and it should be refreshing. Although computers do suffer from stress every now and then, so if you could go to seven uh, menti.com, you're currently answering the question: Would you take medication to reduce your level of stress? And you can use code seven seven. Nine eight five seven two five. Oh, we see a lot of answers coming in. Currently, the majority is saying no, and uh, the majority is increasing. Yeah. Interesting. You probably thought the majority would not take the medication. It obviously depends on a lot of factors. But ultimately, your cultural background, your belief, and your perception of taking medicines all play a role. We, Adam and Sophie, both students at Lyceum Sancta Maria in Haarlem, decided to base our final year's school research project on the subject of stress. We wanted to try and answer the question, can stress be reduced for secondary school pupils by means of a placebo? A placebo is a substance that has no therapeutic effect and its only purpose is for the mental well-being to the patient. Research has shown that if a successfully prescribed medication is swapped with a placebo, the placebo can have the same effect. We conducted a survey and it showed that 86% of students experience stress before a test. And if you think our presentation is a bit stressful, please ask for one of our stress-reducing tablets. Stress is generally thought of as being negative. However, this is not always the case. Uh, a little bit of stress motivates you to reach your goals and can improve your physical and mental well-being. A little bit of stress is completely harmless. Too much stress, on the other hand, can be detrimental to your physical and mental well-being. It can block you. This can happen during sporting events or during tests, and that is not what you want. Too much stress is bad. Currently, there are a few different types of medication which reduce stress. However, these are meant to treat anxiety disorders. This is when stress gets so bad, you get physically ill and need to take time off from work or school. What's more, these medications often have some serious side effects, such as drowsiness, dizziness, headaches, and loss of coordination. And when you're taking a test, the last thing you want to feel is dizzy or experience a headache. So, being the entrepreneurs that we are, we decided to create our own medication. By the way, did we say Sophie's going to study medicine and I'm going to study engineering next year? So, we as students, of course, we can't give pupils real working medication or even a vitamin tablets. 
So we made use of a placebo. Our placebo contains sucrose and lactose. These are two completely harmless substances which can't influence stress in any way at all. We needed a cover story. We had been asked by the pharmaceutical company Reseda Pharma to test a new medication, Silifon. This medication reduces stress to an acceptable level and we even designed the packet. We said that the medication was thoroughly tested and it was approved by the European Medical Agency. The EMA is also the institution that approves all COVID-19 vaccines. We assured the students that there were no side effects after taking this medication. About 300 students took part, so quite a thorough clinical trial. All these students were given a test which consisted of 30 difficult multiple choice questions and they had an insufficient 10 minutes to complete this test in. At three different times, at the start, halfway through and at the end of the test, the students were asked to mark their stress level on a stress scale from 1 to 10. The stress level is shown on your screen right now. Um, there were mixed responses to the two of us handing out small white pills and tests. Some students thought we were giving them ecstasy. Well, I'm not that good an engineer yet. Another person thought we were giving them sweetener. And a group of boys, what else do you expect, actually started to feel sleepy after having taken our medication. In total, we had 177 students take part with the placebo. To give ourselves a baseline, we had 114 students take the test without the placebo. The only thing they were told was to mark their stress levels. The results of our trial showed that the students who took the placebo, their stress level started at four and increased to four and a half. So their increase was about 10%. Those who didn't take the placebo, their stress level started lower at three, but it, it increased all the way up to six. Their stress level doubled. This is why we can conclude that our placebo kept the stress level of students who took it lower than those who didn't. And as we said before, a lower stress level helps you and it can make reaching your goals easier and enhance your performance. These results are based on statistical analysis of 900 stress levels. But what about the reactions and experiences of the placebo-taking students themselves? A few said they felt completely relaxed and they could concentrate better. One student wondered if we had given them real medication or a placebo. And one student asked where she could buy it for herself since it worked so well for her. So now, I'd like you to think back to that stressful situation you thought about at the start of our talk. After having heard everything we've said, would you take our medication to reduce your level of stress? I would like you to go to the same website as before, menti.com, and use code 7798, 5725 and answer if you would take our medication to reduce your level of stress instead of that harmful medication which currently exists. Ah, some people are saying no. And that number is increasing. Well, there are no side effects, so... <laughs> so the majority should be answering yes. So if you could go... I'll repeat, repeat again. If you could go to menti.com and use code 77985725. The uh, number of people saying yes is increasing. Yes, I think the majority said yes. So, it looks like the majority says yes which means that you all trust our medication. 
And we'd like to thank you for your trust in Reseda Pharma. Sylvan will be available to buy online shortly. In all seriousness, thank you. You agree with our conclusions about the positive effect of a placebo and how it reduces stress. For comparison, we did a similar survey at our school and it showed that 68% of students would take medication to reduce their level of stress. Thank you.